Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. This is GMTV. You are welcome to GMTV today, being on the 25th of May 2024. And we are bringing you this news from Biafra land. This is what is happening right now. That's uh, this one took place last. That's uh, yesterday night. That's on the twenty fourth. This is how uh, Nigerian government keep losing their helicopters in Biafra land. My uh, Mazi um, Prime Minister uh, Mazi Samuel have warned them several times not to come with their helicopter, and uh, like uh, what uh, CDS and uh, this uh, Musa. The chief of staff in uh, Nigeria, a uh, uh, terrorist army, he was lamenting in uh, these few days in uh, on the on media that uh, when they fly to Biafra land, they, they they won't be able to get into anything and they don't see anything in Biafra land because they are flying high at that time. That's why they can't see anything. This is GM TV. If today is your first time of coming across our channel, please do us a favor, like, share, also comment, let other people know about GM TV. On this note, as you can see what is on the screen now, this is Nigeria Air Force, Nigerian military um, jet, um, um, fighter, and also helicopter that they, they use in surveilling around in Biafra land where Biafran people have already decimated them and more are still coming because they are still ordering for more as you can see this helicopter is going to crash because if they've used them um, they've used the uh, um they've used the drone as well to monitor this very um aircraft that is running here you will see as it's going down it's going to crash because uh, Nigerian army, they don't listen because Mazi Samuel Nepal have been warning them not to bring their jets to Biafra land, but they keep bringing them to Biafra land. As you can see, it's going down slowly because it's trying to stabilize uh, its uh, um, effort to stand. But at the end, it's going to be decimated by the BLA officials on the ground. So this is GMTV. When Nigeria comes to anywhere in Biafra land, please inform the Biafra government so that we we'll know their location and where they are so that our men can go and tackle them. As you can see, it's struggling down to survive somewhere, but this one is not going to survive because of the wound that the Biafra Liberation Army inflicted on it. So it cannot survive. This is GMT. We're going to move down to the next news. And the next news is uh, about uh, what is going on in Biafra land as well with uh, how they are um, detaining our leader, Mazina Nikano. And the uh, um, Biafra government have uh, sued Nigeria to the African Union over Mnani Kano's detention Biafra referendum. So I'm going to read a bit on it and uh, so that we can continue with the other news. This is gmtv uh, yeah for a quick notice for everyone here this gmtv now and also will be streaming sometimes live on this very very channel and uh, to educate our people on how the uh, how everybody is being carried along as being a biafra in the in our, our region in biafra land so that people will not be misled about what is going on because they have divided us you know many times and they're uh, over with this time a lot of people that uh, doesn't know where they come from and there will be live streams sometimes and uh, also please when you have time listen to it and also send it to people as well for them to be aware of what is going on in Biafra land because they cannot divide us anymore. We have already awoken. Um, awareness is made all over the whole world and they also in Biafra land as well because where they are deceiving people mostly is in Biafra land. This is GMTV. On this note, to we'll carry on with this news, we're not going to finish it because it's a lot because uh, this very one is from uh, PM as he read it with the uh, officials in this very B-R-O-G-I-E government. Let's go with the news. This is GMTV and it says, Biafra Republic government in exile B-R-O-G-I-E petitioned the African Commission on Human and People's Rights on Organ of the African Union in Banjo, Gambia, over the continued detention by the Nigerian government of 
uh, of Mazin and the Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, the declaration of the Restoration Independence State of Biafra. Jonathan Levy, a BROGIE attorney in International Legal Consultant, made this known in a statement he issued on Friday during an online international press briefing. That was yesterday. In the letter, BROGIE headed by Simon Ekpa requested that the commission appoint a special rapporteur on the address alleged economic and human rights abuses in the southern region and also in the southeastern region sorry um and also brgie demand re rectification of the ongoing biafra self referendum to avoid the calamity that may befall nigeria the commission acknowledged the petition in a letter dated on the 23rd uh, 23rd march 2024 addressed to brgie by the african commission in Human Right, People's Right, and and the the ACHPR in Banju, Gambia. The commission is asked to take jurisdiction over the matter of Biafra on an urgent basis, owing to the state of near armed conflict in the region. The BRGRE sit at home civil disobedience campaign and the and the continued unlawful detention of Mazin and Nikano and pro Biafra supporters. The BRGIG also confirm, also informed the Commission of the ongoing Biafra referendum due to calculate due to due to calculate and also conclude at the end of the November twenty twenty four, which is expected to result in the declaration of the restoration of Biafra independence and the need for a swift governance transition. A BR, the BROGIE has advised the Commission and also Nigeria that despite its best effort to prevent civil trifle and also bloodshed, the illegitimate rights of the Biafran people to self-determination shall no longer be thwarted by Nigerian security operatives. Recall that BROGIE, a statement on May 8, condemned the alleged attack on Iga community in Uzowani, local government area of Enugu State, by security operatives where several persons were reported killed. The statement followed a report by a by an online news platform alleging that the combined security operatives led by the Nigerian police force burnt down the community, killing some villagers. According to the report, the attack followed the, the killing of two policemen, three members of the Enugu Neighborhood Watch Group by hoodlums in the area. Reactions Also reaching BROGIE, a statement issued on Tuesday by its Prime Minister, Mazi Samon Ekpa described the development as an act of terrorism and human rights abuses. So this is all we can get on this very, very news. I hope you heard it clearly with what is going on in Nigeria right now and everything that is going down, 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 down because the Nigerian government, they refuse to... Um, they refuse to yield to what uh, the Biafran government is saying, but at the same time being stubborn and they're also wasting a lot of people's life in that community and also the vicinity, let's say in the area of Biafra where everything is happening right now because there's a full and head to inquire people in Abuja and other areas. The Nigerian government does not go there and fish them out but only to come to Biafra land and be disturbing the peace of the people that are living in that area just because of their selfish interests. They are looking for something that does not belong to them. This is GMTV. Um, just on this note, let's little bit of uh, news here um, that is here. And the uh, um, Biafra Prime Minister have just uh, tweeted um, as I'm just reading this news. He said, 
Have you all noticed that former Twitter now X has started restricting Biafra activists on X? They came late. Our app will be out by August. So keep that in your mind that our app will be out by August. So don't be left out on what is going to happen when it, the app comes everyone have to download it and also for you to uh, use it judiciously because it's our own no one is going to restrict it from it and it's going to be like uh, facebook or youtube and uh, whatsapp and other things is going to have a lot of features so you try and download it and subscribe to it as well because we have seen some of the pictures that have come on on top of it and they said if you subscribe to this app there will be some logo that you will have a special one for you to be recognized as a subscriber to that app this is gmtv on the next news it said the biafra license office in gambia and official from the biafra license office submitting the biafra versus nigeria over the counter at au court in banju the gambia so the au court that's african union court is in banju in gambia on this note this is where we're going to leave this news here today and also thank you for being with us also thank you for sharing thank you for letting other people know about uh, know about what we are doing and disseminating all the information with other media platform this is gmtv we're going to leave you here today remember us as always and bye for now. This is GMTV.